A True Connection with Your Pet, Ellie Kane. In this video, we tell you about five of the most popular mistakes that can lead to failure in training your dog not to bark. Let's start! If you do not adjust the belt, the collar will not fit snugly on the dog's neck and the dog will not feel vibrations when barking. As a result, the collar won't work well. Adjust the belt so it fits snugly on the dog's neck. If you do not cut the excess belt, the collar will shift and it won't be at the center of the throat so it will not work when the dog is barking. Cut the excess belt and treat the edge to prevent the collar from being damaged. If you do not move the collar block to the center of the belt, the collar will spin and it won't work. Move the collar's block so it is in the middle of the belt. If you don't turn on the collar, it won't work. You should press the power button and hold for 3 seconds until the collar sounds and the indicator turns green. Now it is ready! If you do not adjust the sensitivity on the collar adapting it to the voice of your dog, then the collar simply may not hear it or it may hear excess noise. It is necessary to set the sensitivity to the fourth phase. If there is not enough, adjust the sensitivity higher until the collar begins to respond. In case of hypersensitivity, reduce the sensitivity until a result is obtained. If you have any questions, watch the videos about each step for more detailed information. A True Connection with Your Pet, Ellie Kane